Hi, um, and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at creating or designing a um, kind of a, a web layout and prototyping uh, for, you know, for you to show that project to your, to, to your client. So we're inside of a Affinity Designer and, and I've got a new document and I've just chosen the, the web preset uh, 1920 by 1080 um, for this particular project because of the design I'm going for and the style I'm going for um, for, for this project. Um, on other occasions, I probably might change that. Again, this is just for a preview for my client to see, just so they can have a bit of a, a better idea, really, of what I have in mind in regards to designing their site. And I'm just going to hit OK. Now, what I'm going to do first of all is place an image. So I'm just going to go over to the Place Image tool. And I've already downloaded some images from a, a website called Unsplash, um, unsplash.com. They've got some great images on there um, with a Creative Commons Zero license, as I understand. So do check them out, some great pictures on there. So first of all, I'm going to choose this one here. So this is going to be for my, for my main page. And hopefully, you know, stick with me and you will see what I'm aiming for, for this particular site. So once I've kind of got the layout done inside of Affinity Designer, the aim is to then upload it to another a website, a prototyping website, so then I can send that link to my client for them to interact with and give me some feedback on the site. So this is a fiction company, by the way. Um, I'm going to call them Mango. Um, just an idea that I come up with. I really like this image for the, the, the main page. So basically, this is what I want. I want clients to see, I want this to be really when, when people kind of load up the site, this to be the main page, and then they can click um, in the menu bar up here, which I'm going to create in a second, to take them to other pages. So today, I'm only going to work on two pages, just to kind of give you an idea of how simple and how quick you can really start an Affinity Designer and you know finish your uh, get a project going, rather, um, to, to send that to your client. So over here in my layers panel, I'm just going to rename this to main, because that's going to be my main page. Um, probably do some tidying up as, as I go along. Uh, I'm just going to go over and create a square, and I'm just going to drag this out. And this is going to be in the menu bar. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so I can see that a bit better. And uh, I may come back and change some of this in a second. Okay, let's just open this up. And let's just call that menu bar. Let's give it, let's give it a name. Menu bar. It's always good to um, try and be tidy and neat and organise things as you go. Otherwise, um, you work on busy projects, it kind of gets out of hand, which has happened to me a few times. But there you go. Right, so let's just drop the opacity that for uh, maybe to around 50, 60 pence. So let's, let's see here, 57, that'll do. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to create some text. So, this is where the, um, the menu items will be. So over to the artistic text tool, artistic text tool, rather. And let's just change the font to something I like. Yeah, I saw something earlier that I like, it was Blakely. If I can find it again, there we go, Blakely. And I'm just gonna click and type in home. And let's just resize, it's on like 48, we'll do for now. Let me change that. Now I'm just going to hold down the Alt key on my keyboard and Shift and just drag it over and let's just double click and just rename this to about us. So we're just creating the menu bar items at the moment. And let's hold down the Alt and Shift key again. And let's just call this our mission. And one more time. Let's just have a contact um, contact tab. Contact. Okay, great. Uh, let's just select all these four. And I'm going to come up to the um, align icon up here, oh, sorry, the arrange icon up here. And I'm going to choose to space these out horizontally. There we go, just so it creates a nice even gap between them all. And oops, just look at them selected, that's fine. Just select them again, and I'm just going to drag this over. And you can see I'm getting these horizontal guys, but actually, let's just drag this over. I actually want to make this rectangle a bit smaller. That's better. And let's select those four again, and just wait for those guides. Um, by the way, I should have mentioned actually, 
um, over in a snapping icon, um, if I click, this, click on this drop down menu, um, I've got the preset set to UI design, just so everything snaps um, nicely for me. So there we go. Let's just zoom out so we can see what we've got. There we go. So there's our main picture for, for our background and our menu bar at the top. Now I said that earlier on the company is called Mango. So what I want to do is have their, their logo here. So we're just going to create something very simple, um, very easy to do. So let's just group these first of all. Just so it'd be a bit more tidy. I'm just going to name this. Menu tabs, let's give, call it a name, menu tabs. Okay. And uh, let's go back to the artistic text tool. And let's call, give an M for the mango. Now, I want to change it to a font. Um, there we go. Let's just change the color of that to white. It's about, maybe it might make it a bit smaller. Now, uh, normally when I'm designing web stuff like this, I normally do create guides, and I will do in a second um, for the other page. But for this main page, because there's not much that I need to line up, and the snapping works really well, so I'm just going to keep it like that. So there we go. So this is the front page. I'm just going to press the tab key um, so I can get rid of all the cut around the tile and command zero. Oops, wrong one. Um, I press Command O, or Command Zero. There we go. So we go just so I can see that a bit better, and that's going to be my main page. And I may just bring this um, these tabs down a bit. But that's okay for now. Let's press the Tab key again to come out of that. Command Zero again to fit. And let's just close this down. And I'm just going to create another layer. And let's just rename this and call this the About page. Uh, actually, let's just let's move this down now because it's bothering me. This menu tabs just bring down a few, a few little pixels. That's better. Right, so let's just close this up and click on the uh, and go to the about and uncheck the the main page for now. So I've got another image that I want to um, another image I want to bring in. So again, I'm going to use the place image tool. Again, it's from Unsplash, Unsplash.com, and just click and drag. And lay this out in here, and just get this right. Actually, I want the um, actually I want the sky in this. So now with the about us page, what I want to do is essentially have. Um, well, actually, I'm going to have this company has three um, three employees, shall I say? So what I want to do is just have a little three little panels here um, with a mask, just masking out uh, an image and a bit of information about them. Um, at the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is just so I can line things up easy is actually create some guides. So I'm going to go to the view menu in the menu bar and I'm going to come down to the guides manager and for those horizontal guides um, let's just click on this little icon down here and let's just add in some guides. The first one I want for the horizontal is 117. So add another one and this one's going to be actually 640. Just type that in 640. And for the vertical guides, the first one I want is going to be oh, actually 960, that will do. And the second one is going to be 1760 pixels. And then one, one more, and that's going to be 160. Let's come down here and just name that 160. And let's click close. Cool. So there we go. I've got my, my my guides in there. So let's go over to the square tool again, or the rectangle tool rather. Let's just drag out a rectangle. Let's get this right. So something like that would do. And also I can come back and make some changes if necessary, if needed. And I'm going to create a circle. And I'm just going to drag it out circle. Oops. Let's try that again. Draw a circle. I'm just going to line this up, and actually let's just change the colour, just so I can better see what's going on here. And these snapping tools really come in handy for stuff like this. So essentially, what's going to happen is this panel here, inside of the circle, I'm going to use this to mask an image, and up here I'm just going to put the person's name and the position there are in in that company. And obviously, this is the um, about page. 
So let's just group this together. And let's just do a bit of tidying up. Let's just group these two together. And Command-G to group these. I'm just going to name this P1, Person 1. And actually, while I'm in there, let's just go to the Artistic Text Tool again. And let's just change the font size because that's really big. And let's just give this person a name. Let's call it John Appleseed. I don't like that font for this. So this time, I'm going to actually use Helvetica New. So let's just change that. Of course, you guys can use whatever um, font you guys want to use. There we go. And I'm just going to change this to its light or thin. Prefer that. I'll just make this a bit smaller. Six points. Now I'm just going to duplicate this. I'll then on the orc here and shift again. I'm just going to name this and just call this the position photographer. And this time I probably want the condensed bold. Let's just zoom a little bit to see what's going on. Here we go. And just line this up. Um, of course, you could leave it at this and just put a little avatar on there or something. But I prefer to actually, in this case, actually, I want to actually have an image in there just so my client can see, you know, or my fictional client can see um, essentially what their about us page is going to look like um, with their pictures. Now, that's fine. And let's just tidy this up a bit. Let's just drag these into the group. That's it. So they're all under P1. And I'm going to duplicate, duplicate these twice because I want there's going to be three persons on this page. So and now I've got this group selected. I'm going to hit the shortcut, Command J, Command J to do that twice. And then let's just um, rename these to number two, P2, person two, and three for person three. And let's just select person three and drag it over to the end. Okay, snap. And then person two. I'm going to drag out and set it to the center. Here we go. Uh, because I've got the snapping and these guides on, you can see it's all lining up nicely for me. It makes my job definitely a lot more easier. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually place these images in. Um, oh, of course, I'm going to come back in a second and, and rename and maybe give them some different um, titles for their positions. Uh, but that's up to you. Okay, so. I haven't got any images that I've downloaded from Unsplash for this and something that Affinity Designer doesn't have currently, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be put in the future or if there is a need for it, is a stock panel that like their other application Affinity Photos have. So because I have Affinity Photo installed as well, I'm just going to quickly go up to the edit menu, the menu bar and, sorry, file menu um, and click on edit in photo and it opens up their photo application, there we go. And because I already, um, under the stock tab over here on the right hand side, I already typed in portrait, it's, it's really brought out some images for me. And if you don't see the stock um, tab here, you can go to your view menu under studio, and there we go, and just make sure that the stock is, is ticked there. So what I'm gonna do now, I've found some images that I like, I'm just gonna just click and just, I'm just drag these in, it's gonna be really messy. Uh, and I'll sort that out in a second. I'll sort that in a second. So let's use these three. Here we go. And I'm just going to go File, Edit and Designer. Let's go back. Here we go. That's better. So I, even though it would be nice to see the stock panel inside of um, Affinity Designer, it just goes to show that how quickly, you know, the application does switch and be able to switch between the photos and design application. Um, especially if you want to do any editing or any um, cutting out of these images and, and stuff like that. But this is fine for now. So let's just tidy this up because I've got these images. And I'm just going to drag them out because they're on the. Here we go. So I've got this image one here. I'm just going to put that into P1. And as I drag this image down, I'm going to drop it underneath the actually first little orange ellipse that I've created. And what it's done is I'll drag it up. It's actually masked it for me. And actually let's just lay these up so if 
fits better in as I as I do this. Let's go back to that first one. Select the image. I'm just going to resize this so it fits the circle a bit better. And just line this up. Here we go. And I'm going to again. I'm going to do the same for the second one. Let's just open up P2 in my groups and select the second image. And again, I'm going to drag this underneath the ellipse. And you see, automatically it masks it for me, which is an absolutely wonderful tool inside of Affinity um, application. And again, I'm just going to do the same for the third one. Let's open up P3 and just drag that underneath. Here we go. And actually, let's make that one a bit smaller so it fits in with the, the actual other two here. There we go. Go snaps nicely. I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and just give him some uh, very inventive names. All right, there we go. So I'll just give them a name. Um, as you can see, it's a it's a family company, and I'm just going to line these up a bit better. There we go. Just make sure. Oops, spelt chief wrong. Let's just um, go back and edit that. And let's just snap these in place. So there we go. I'm just going to use the shortcut. I can actually go to the view menu and go to um, show guides. Obviously, the show guides are ticked on. Use the command and semicolon key. I prefer the shortcut. So command semicolon on my keyboard. Just to see how that is. Not too bad. Okay, cool. So I'm happy with that at the moment. Uh, I will be coming back and making some changes. So I can leave that back on. Now, what I want to do is just uh, because it's the about us page, like I said, I want to have some a bit of text um, below each of these guys here, just to kind of say who they are and what they do. Um, obviously, because it's fictional, and if it was real, I don't have that information at the moment. So I've got a great little app installed, and um, it's called Little Ipsum, and actually, it's actually giving me a little icon in my menu bar. So I'm just going to choose four paragraphs. So it's Little Ipsum, great little app. And it's going to copy that. And what I'm going to do now is come back over to the Artistic Text Tool. And this time, I'm going to choose the frame text tool. I'm just going to drag a frame out underneath here. And I'm just going to click inside and Command V to paste that in. And let's just see if I can select that text and make it a bit more bolder. I'm just going to make a few adjustments here. And I'm going to center align this. As you can see, it clashes with the background. Don't worry about that. I, I, I will try and resolve that in a second. And I'm just going to copy this over. So for Sarah and the third person, Mike. Okay, perfect. So I want to do, I'm going to actually set this background image. And let's go back into my background image. And I'm actually going to drop the opacity a little bit on this one. Not too much. So maybe something around. So just so the text stands out a bit more. Something like 67. Yeah, get the balance right around 75%. Let's do for now. And what I'm going to do for each of these white rectangles, because I don't like that now, I'm just going to drop the opacity on those a bit, just so we can see the sky and an image through them. So I'm going to drop those to around 50% as well. And let's just close this up. And let's just do the same for the second one. So I'm just going to drop down to about 50%. And we're going to do that for the first one. Um, John Appleseed himself. There we go. Right, and this is, well, I'm just going to get rid of these guides a second. Command semicolon on my keyboard. Let's so see how that looks. Okay, I mean, for now, um, I'm happy with that. Again, you know, don't forget, I don't want to spend too much time on this because, you know, um, if I was on this to my client and they wanted to make any changes, this is just, this is just really to kind of get a, a layout and an idea for them to have a better understanding of what's inside of my head, um, if that's even possible. But hey, there we go. So let's just tidy. I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit over in my in my layers group. So I've got the about and the main. Let's turn it back on. So there's our main page. Actually, there's a couple more changes I want to make on the about. So the first thing I want to do um, is just turn back into my main. I'm going to copy this logo. Command C. Come back to my about. Command V to paste that. And let's just turn on my guides again. Command semicolon. Actually, I want to make this black this time. I'm just going to drag this out and make it a little bit smaller. Because what this is going to do, this is going to act as the back sort of icon. So when they click on this, it takes them back to the main page. So just line this up over here. 
And let's just turn off the main. That's coming through, that's better. And what I'm gonna do, maybe just have a text up here, just indicating it's about. So again, I'm gonna select the artistic text tool and just click and just type in about us. And just make sure I line this up correctly. There we go. And let's just change that. So still in Helvetica Canoe, no, and I'm probably gonna go for the light fin again, ultra light. And let's just make that a bit smaller. Bring that font size down a little bit. So I'm not 72 for now. And again, if I'm not happy with it, I'll come back and make some changes. That's command semicolon to see that again. About the guides, not bad. Okay, cool. So we've got our little um, a title, uh, a page at the top here. We've got our three panels for the three um, fictional employees. Um, got the logo up on the top left to go back to the main page. And just a bit of text, a little Laura Mipsum underneath, underneath, just to give a bit of description about who, who the employees are and their role in the company. So let's go back, we've got the main page and then you've got the About Us page. Okay, great. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, let's select that while it's selected. I'm just gonna to go to File, um, Export. I'm gonna save this as a JPEG, uh, best quality, and it's using the Lanxos um, resampling. And I'm just gonna click Export. And um, let's just create a new, actually just select the main, go and just give it a new folder. Uh, let's just go web, test, and let's name that page to the About Us page. Stay, keep myself organized. And let's do the same for the main. Now, now that's both exported, of course, once you're actually finished and you're ready to um, actually build your site or send it to the developer, you can go into the export persona this for an icon up here on the top left of your screen and you know you can create slices from all of these things and obviously then actually build your site. Um, but for now, for just for test purposes, just to kind of create a prototype, I just want to export these two main pages and of course if you guys want you can go in and, and create more pages if you like. So now I've got these exported, I'm just going to switch over to Safari. So this is the website and they've also got an app for iOS and I um, assume Android as, as well. Um, and the website is called marvelapp.com. So it's a prototyping site and it allows you to prototype your website, UI, apps, etc. And also it allows you to work with your clients and allow them to kind of comment. So then you can go back in and make necessary changes. Now I've already signed in and I've just created an account. So I've got a free account. Um, there are options to upgrade to Pro, which allows you to, which actually, yeah, you know, obviously you get a few more you'll get a few more features with inside the, um, the application itself. But for now, um, I've got a free account and it works really well for what my, my purposes are. So uh, down here, I'm just gonna click on Create Project. Um, actually, before I do that, if you wanna find out more about Marvel App, do check out their website. Um, there's a demo video here and there's an explore feature here, which will go into more information about the site and what it does. So this is how simple it is to use. Click on Create Project and let's give it the name of the site, Mango. What device are you prototyping for? Um, desktop and web, create project. So what I'm gonna do now is add images from my computer and just load up those two images that I had in there and just wait for them to load up. Great, now they've loaded up, I'm just gonna just drag these around so that is the first page. Now as I hover over these images, you can see it says edit in the middle there. That's what I wanna do now is click on edit for the main page. And what I need to do now is as I hover over stuff, I can drag boxes over and then link them. So in this case, I'm gonna go over the menu bar and click over the About Us tab and tell it only to link to the About Us page. Then I'm gonna click Screen Transition and you have a range of um, options here uh, these, and they're animated to kind of show you how it will get from one page to another. In this case, I wanna choose, uh, actually I wanna choose Slide Up and then I'm gonna go Done, and then I'm gonna to come to the About Us page and click Edit, just so I can click and drag over the uh, M and actually tell it to link back to the main page. Screen transition, and I'm gonna say, I've actually got a few choices here. Actually, let's just go slide left to go back, and then I'm gonna go Done. 
So there we go. So I've got my two main pages. I've told this main page to link to the About Us and then the little icon about us to go back to the main page. So you can click play to have a little preview. But in this case, I'm um, just click on share and you then have a, a URL that you can share an email to your, to your client or obviously publish and embed it on your site. But for now, I'm just gonna highlight and copy this URL link. Command C to copy, I'm gonna click on the plus and I'm just gonna paste it inside of my uh, URL browser here and just wait for that to load up and there we go so essentially this is what your client's going to see so then they can interact with your site so if I click on the about us it then loads up with that animation and I can click on the M and go back and I must say I absolutely love this site marvelapp.com you guys have done an amazing work here and it's a great way for me to you know show like I said earlier on you know in, in this video to showcase my project showcase my design, my ideas, you know, to my clients, then they can, um, they'll have this link, they're better to interact with it. Um, they're better to kind of comment and kind of give me feedback. And then I can come back into obviously something like Affinity Designer, make this necessary changes. And then once we're all happy, I can then send it off to the developer. Or, you know, in that case, if it's you, you designing and developing, um, then you can actually get on and actually complete the site. But this is a great way to um, prototype your site and kind of get your clients feedback um, and it's interactive as well and of course because I've got a free site I've got the um, Marvel app brand on here which I don't mind too much but if you um, upgrade to a pro account I think it starts from something like nine dollars a month um, it, it, it will remove that so there we go one last look about us and then back so there we go we'll start that inside of Affinity Designer um, you know, just kind of creating the layout and then just using a bit of text here to, for, for the logo and the menu bar. And then we obviously I designed the uh, about page and masked um, with a circle. Um, just put the, the images in there for the company employees. And once I exported that, just load it up to, to marbleapp.com and kind of create this nice little prototype interactive site. So there we go, guys. Um, I must I say, Affinity Designer and a Marvel app absolutely work amazing together of course currently um affinity designer doesn't have art boards otherwise um i would have used it rather than creating two separate layers but to be honest it's not a massive deal for me at, at the moment it is something that i know that is on the the roadmap and will come out shortly but at the time of this video it isn't and in this case it's not really a big deal for me you know i just have to work around that and just create another layer um, but there you go, what an amazing application Affinity Designer um, allows you to kind of create a beautiful, gorgeous looking site for your client and then upload it to marvelapp.com really to send to your client to create a nice looking prototype. So there you go guys, um, I hope you enjoyed watching and, and got something out of today's tutorial. Please feel free to share some feedback with me or even go ahead, use Affinity, design your sites, use Marvel App and show us what you have done. So there you go guys, thank you very much and thanks for watching.